Hi guys, welcome to Genetic Diversity and Adaptation. So um, in terms of the specification, we will be looking at the um, at the, just the overview, to be honest, because we did a lot of work on the natural selection. We look at the uh, genetic diversity, but what we are going to do in this video, we will be focused on the common past paper questions uh, in terms of the genetic diversity and adaptations. So we will start with the definitions. So genetic diversity is the total number of different alleles of gene in a population. So the high, uh, greater the number of different alleles that, are, uh, that all uh, members of species possess, the greater the genetic diversity of that species. So the higher chance to survival. So all of those uh, points here, like genetic diversity, survival, alleles, okay, frequency are really important for this topic. Population is a group of the individuals of the same species that live in the same place and they can interpret and produce fertile offspring. Genetic diversity is a factor enabling natural selection. So the fact that not all the alleles will be passed on uh, and uh, will be then seen in the next generation to occur this results in species that are better adapted to the, the uh, environment so those adaptations might be anatomical physiological or behavior so at the behavior level which we've seen in our previous videos selection is the process uh, that uh, produces changes within a population of species and the adaptation and selections are the major factors in the evolution that contribute to the diversity of living organisms. So natural selection in the evolution of the population is the fact what we've mentioned that not all alleles are passed on and uh, uh, also uh, lead to reproductive success between the individuals. So that's really important for the past paper questions now. So reproductive success and early frequency. Uh, in here, we've got a few terms that we need to be aware of. But you need to remember that the early frequency is affected by difference between reproductive success. So that's really important. So gene pool, all the alleles in the population. A random mutation will take place, so a new allele will arise. In terms of the environmental, the new alleles could uh, be disadvantage or an advantage over the older individuals in the populations. But they could be better adopted, they could have higher chance to survive, they could reproduce and produce fertile offspring. So that's the genetic variation here, uh, the contribution of it to the higher chances of survival. And the individuals that reproduce successfully pass on their alleles to the next generations. And obviously, the most advantage uh, alleles are being passed on. So what we will see over generations, the individuals with advantage alleles will increase in the number. And the ones with disadvantage alleles will decrease. So alley frequency at the end of the advantage alleles will increase. So here we've got questions, and one of those is to give two reasons why the grease strips increase the biodiversity of animals. Okay, anytime you talk about the biodiversity, the same uh, keywords are coming up. Okay, so diversity, okay, leads to more types of food sources for animals, so the increase uh, in uh, animals leads to increase in predator species, so increase in niche habitats. So just how uh, this has caused a reduction in genetic diversity of the bacteria. So uh, only few bacteria passed from parents, so only a few copies of genes will be passed on, so they might not include all of the alleles, okay? Hence, the, the biodiversity, the genetic diversity will be reduced. So remember, it's all about the alleles, not genes, okay? Remember, if you're talking about something being reduced, focus on alleles. Okay, explain how crossing over contribute to genetic variation and random question, okay, just to get used to alleles. So section of the chromatin 
quantities will be exchanged. Okay, so the sections will have different values, so new combination of them. Okay, so here we've got different a number of uh, seats against the length of seat. So within each uh, so of my seats short a range of different lengths and explain one cause of this variation. So what's the cause of this? It's the fact that the uh, length could be controlled by many genes. Okay, but also you could say that each gene will have different areas okay so uh, environmental factors so we see that those uh, those needs to be adapted to the environmental factors having those different seats okay use the knowledge of genetics and selection to explain the changes in the mean length so again same key words okay so selection of the advantage so the large weather advantage high proportion okay of the long length for alleles so again so the appearance of new alleles through what's the cause of it the mutation and they will be repeated pass on to the next generations okay and explain why the removal of hedges caused a decrease this time in the diversity of birds okay so removes the plants, okay, so less food sources, so less habitat niches. And explain why favored species of plants would lead to less species of lizards in the oil palm plantation. Same stuff, so less habitat niches, so lower uh, diversity of the insects or uh, any species that you are looking at so less food sources okay remember don't just put food put food sources in your answers so that's everything for this topic see you later